So today we're going on an adventure. And I think we're gonna tell you guys, it's time to tell you guys what we're doing. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Deanna and we are Crystal Clear Living. We are the Crystal, so we're a family of five letting go of 90% of our things in pursuit of experiencing big life with less. If you don't subscribe, please do so if you wanna keep up on our journey to minimalism and tiny living. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Deanna, we are the Crystals. We are a family of five and we are letting go of 90% of our stuff in pursuit of experiencing big life with less. If you don't follow us, please do so. Hit that follow button, put on see first and turn those notifications on to keep up with our entire journey. So today we're gonna be talking about our next chapter transitioning in to full-time RVing. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, what are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do? We're going full-time RVing. You guys have seen us in the minimalization part, but today we're gonna go on a little bit more of a journey into actually going to look at the rigs and see what that's about and how we're deciding which one we're choosing for our family. This may seem really crazy and like it's happening really quickly, but it is. <laughs> We will share more in the coming weeks about why and how we came to this decision. But for today, we are gonna show some footage of us going to look at potential RVs for our family. Our very first time going to an RV lot and really even walking in an RV was on June 22nd, just last month. So if you wanna watch that bit footage, stay tuned. It's day one. We've been watching YouTube videos for the past two weeks about living in a fifth wheel or RV or whatever. So now we're actually gonna go look at them in the flesh. You ready, Chubbs? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, we've been watching so many videos, I feel like I gotta actually touch it and see what it's like, because I don't know. We took the girls to my parents and we just brought a little armor. So we're gonna go look, we'll see. All right, we're about to walk in our very first RV. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh. Ladies first. So going into this, my husband was very interested in toy haulers. During this visit, I was convinced that maybe this could potentially work for our family. Once we got home, we scavenged the internet and we thought we found the perfect RV, a toy hauler with light gray cabinets. If you've ever been in the market for an RV, you know that light cabinets are very hard to come by in the industry as a whole. This video is not of the particular RV we thought was the one, but the one that we saw that day that had us very interested in what a toy, toy hauler could, could potentially mean for our family. We were super excited, but after a few weeks, I'll be honest, I began to have some second thoughts if this was the right fit for us. And I began to be start looking around at other options. After we came home, we found this RV or this toy hauler that we absolutely loved. We were invested. We were invested in that RV. But after a few weeks, I'll be honest, I started to have a little bit of second thoughts like, I really liked this other floor plan. This mid-level bunk is what they call it. And so I was really obsessed with this mid-level bunk. And I was kind of afraid to tell Chubbs because we were so committed and I didn't want to like rock the boat and make him uneasy. Like I was questioning our decision to go RVing. I was just really questioning our decision with, are we picking the right rig for our family? Because no matter what, we want it to fit, we want it to be comfortable and we want it to work for us. So I questioned that and at first it shook us up a little bit because, oh, Deanna's changing her mind, whatever. But luckily I found one that I really liked and it was in Greenwood and it was about an hour and a half away. So we went out on an adventure this last weekend and we want to share that footage with you. So if you want to watch that, stay tuned for more. <laughs> so today we're going on an adventure. We thought we had everything figured out. We thought we had it all figured out what we were doing and then I kind of changed my mind. So now we're on our way to go somewhere else, go look at something else. We have to drive about an hour and a half away. So we got us some coffee and we're here, it's early. It is like 8.28 in the morning, so it's pretty early. So we're excited. So I guess we will see you soon.
As you can tell we were really anticipating looking at this unit because prior we had really only been looking at toy haulers at the last RV lot we mainly focused on the toy hauler so this is the first time we really went through and looked at one of these units and really looked at it so we were really excited and it gave us both a very good first impression it had so much storage so much more seating area it was just so much more homey for like a family type setting and so honestly that's the reason I wanted to look at it and so during this visit it really got Chubbs on board of the idea that this really could be more functional for our family in its current state you know maybe eventually we want a toy hauler down the road but I think for at this point in our lives a mid-level bunk or some type of bunk houses is a better fit for our family and Is that comfy? So yes, that's it. I am so excited to bring you guys along in this journey with us as we, you know, continue to work to minimalize, continue to work towards the ultimate goal of full-time RVing, which I don't know when that will be. I don't know how fast everything is going to go, but I do know this, that we are in pursuit of experience, big life with less. That is all I know, and we're taking it day by day. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for watching today. I am so excited. If you want to continue to follow our journey into the RV lifestyle please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time bye